Pete Savagian is the Vice President of Propulsion Engineering at Faraday Future. They used CES a year ago to introduce the company. Now they're really showing us what the car is all about. Yes. And Pete, let's go through a little bit of what this chassis is all about sure. that you've got here on the floor. I uh, appreciate it. This is the uh, what we call the Variable Platform Architecture, or VPA. And it is a modular chassis and powertrain that we're using to develop for all of our vehicles, and in its greatest form, we're using it for the FF91. FF91 is a full-size uh, SUV type size vehicle, but with uh, a whole lot of luxury and a whole lot of performance. Uh, the variable platform architecture is a modular architecture for both vehicle structure, chassis, and powertrain. Now, you've worked on all kinds of vehicles in the past. What's it like having this kind of a modular approach from a propulsion development standpoint? Well, it's great because we get to uh, <clears throat> really push the envelope for performance, and uh, but the modularity allows us to get to the economics and the reuse and flexibility for a variety of other vehicles uh, in the future. And the modularity, of course, refers to you can shorten up or lengthen this thing, and yet you can keep these front and rear cradles, I guess you might call them, the same. Yeah, that's exactly right. The center section here in its largest form for the FF91 supports a 3.2 meter wheelbase, which is really, really large, gives a lot of space for the back end. It's modular uh, and it houses the world's largest uh, electric vehicle battery pack. This is 130 kilowatt hours worth of battery. And we have it broken up into six smaller battery packs that we call strings. And, uh, and we could then shorten up the vehicle structure uh, and remove some of those strings and still have a, a good sized battery and a good sized driving range on a smaller car too. Okay, now explain one of the other advantages of modularity you can take a lot of different structures on this and have different models. That's right, we, can, we think we can make any style or type or size of vehicle that would uh, suit the needs of most customers in the light duty automotive segment with this uh, approach. Okay, it's real interesting to look at this chassis here. Let's go take a look at the actual vehicle that you've got on the floor. KP, we were looking at this car and its chassis and everything. Now we're seeing the body on it. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about the performance, uh, the battery pack, sure. the kind of performance that yeah. this generates, and of course the horsepower number. Oh yeah, it's tremendous. So what you see here is our uh, performance development vehicle. So we've used this to shake down the whole propulsion system for the car. Uh, we've got a 130 kilowatt hour battery pack, like I told you before, that gives us the uh, longest range. We get 378 miles of EPA adjusted range. Uh, EPA adjusted meaning that this it, isn't it, set up it, to be the best number possible. Right, it's real world. This is discounted uh, by the government. It's a 30% discount over what it would uh, achieve on the strict test schedule. And that's how all the, all the electric vehicles are, are rated. So uh, we also have a whole lot of power. Uh, we've got, uh, and I think you hear it there, uh, 1,050 horsepower, that's 783 uh, uh, kilowatts. Uh, yeah. A thousand wasn't good enough, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had to go a little bit more, but we need to do that to get uh, to the performance levels that we, we want for the zero to 60 of 2.39 seconds on a car this size. And not every customer is going to want to go that fast, but I think they're going to want to know that they could if they wanted to. Yeah, 2.39 seconds, and this is a very large car. What's the weight on this? We're not exactly saying, but it compares well with, let's say, a Bentley Bentayga uh, type vehicle. So we think it's uh, ultimate uh, new luxury and electric performance with great comfort. So we're talking something like a 5,000 pound vehicle that can really get up and go. Yeah, it might be in our weight class. <laughs> yeah. What more can you tell me about uh, the, the propulsion system as you've developed sure. it? Uh, well, we've got a real big battery pack, so it's 378 miles, but when you do need a charge, uh, we've equipped it with the uh, fastest charge rates possible. So working with the open, shared, uh, fast charge network that we're in discussions with every automaker, we're in the Charin Consortium to use the SAE CCS uh, charge port. We can uh, support 200 kilowatt charging, which will put about half of that energy back in the pack in about 20 minutes. You've really got something here. Pete, thanks so much for sharing all this knowledge that you've got and information about the new Faraday Future car. Oh, it's my privilege. Thanks for asking.
Mitsubishi Electric can help you build heart racing, awe-inspiring products with the quality you expect, exactly as designed, faster than you thought possible. We are Mitsubishi Electric. You know us for our quality. Get to know us for our innovation.